Hello family, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking. And today's tutorial, I'll be using a pair of scissors, size 2 seed beads, rubber beads, 0.4 fishing line. Okay, so let's get straight to business. I'm going to cut about 30 inches of the fishing line or any length that you will feel comfortable working with. Okay. Now, after cutting the fishing line, I'm going to pick four of the rubber beads. Okay, now the last one picked, I'm going to cross it with the other side of the fishing line. And place it in the middle of the fishing line. Like this okay after this I will use one side of the fishing line to pick one bead one rubber bead and use the other side to also pick one then I'll pick additional one and cross it with both sides of the fishing line I'm going to use one side to pick one rubber bead and use the other side to also pick another bead then pick an additional bead and cross it with both sides of the fishing line like this okay so I'm having three at both sides of the mat so I'll use one side to pick one rubber bead and use the other side to pick one seed bead one seed bead then I'll pick a rubber bead and cross it with both sides of the fishing line you're going to repeat this by using the same side that you used to pick the rubber bead and the same side of the fishing line that you used to pick the seed bead to pick another and cross it with a rubber bead. Okay, so you're supposed to have two seed beads at same side of the fishing line and two that's the other side of the fishing line we are repeating this until we have six of the seed bead at one side for me I'm using my left hand side until we have six of the seed beads at one side of your fishing line Okay. One side to pick one seed bead, the other with a rubber, an additional rubber bead, then you cross it with both sides of the fishing line. So as you can see we have six of the seed beads at one side of the fishing line so I'm going to pick two rubber beads with the side of the fishing line which I used to pick the seed beads I will pick two using that side I used for picking the seed beads 
Then pick additional one and cross it with both sides of the fishing line. So you can see the position of the fishing line now. After this, I'm going to pick one rubber bead for one side of the fishing line and another for the other side of the fishing line. Then an additional one and cross it with both sides of my fishing line. Okay, now this being done, I'm going to use the side that I used for picking the seed bead to pick one seed bead and use the other side to pick one rubber bead as I did before. Then I'll pick additional rubber bead and cross it with both sides of the fishing line just as I've, I've done already. So I'll continue by picking the seed bead with the side I use for picking seed beads until we have another six seed beads on the left hand side of the fishing line. Continue by picking one seed bead, one rubber bead, then cross it with additional rubber bead. I'm picking another seed bead with one side of the fishing line, and the other side I used to pick rubber bead then I'll pick additional rubber bead and cross it with both sides of the fishing line so our heart is almost formed I'm going to pick another seed bead with the same side used for picking seed bead and the other side to pick a rubber bead and cross it I'll pick additional bead and cross it with both sides of the fishing line. So we are having six seed beads now. Okay, after that, I'm going to use one side of the fishing line to pick one rubber bead and the other side to pick another rubber bead. Then instead of picking additional one and crossing them, I'm going to cross them using the first side bead on my design. I will pass one side of the fishing line, the right hand side through it backwards and the other side to also cross it. Okay, so that's our heart key chain. Alright, after this being done, I'm going to secure, secure it by tying it. I will pass through, pass my fish line through the holes in the bead, make a loop and pull it up to just tie it up. Okay. All right, so this is one half for the hat. I'm going to make another one. So this is the other half. Okay. So now we place them on each other. We place them on each other and join them together. We place them on each other and join them together now if you notice I didn't cut off the 
fishing line after tying it up. That, that is what I'm going to use to join them together. So I'm going to pass my fishing line through the immediate bead. Then I'll place them on each other. Then I'll pick one seed bead using the fish line and pass it through the next bead after the up seed bead of the fish line. I'll pick another seed bead and pass through the bead after the up seed bead. Yes, this one. The next bead after the bead directly opposite to the bead which the fishing line comes from. So this is basically how we are going to join it. You just pick one seed bead and pass it through the next bead after the bead directly opposite to the bead which the fishing line comes from. So guys, uh, for joining, please remember to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share to your friends, and let's be together. You pick a seed bead and pass it through the next bead after the opposite bead directly to the bead which the fishing line comes from. Yep, this is what we are basically going to do until the very end seed bead then pass it through the next bead after the up seed bead So I'm going 
going to secure it by passing it through the holes and the beads, making a loop. Then I pass, I pull out my fishing line to secure it. I repeat this about three times. Just pick one seed bead, then pass a fishing line through the next bead after the directly opposite bead to the bead which the fishing line comes from. After the bead directly opposite to the bead of which the fishing line comes from, that's it. Same way we close the outer part, the same way you're going to close the inner part.
as usual the frequency speed and to through the next bit after the direct opposite bit to the one which the fishing line comes from. So guys, if you like this video up to this period or this time, please give this video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Comment in the comment section whatever you didn't get or whatever you didn't understand and I will turn to you. Okay, now you pick one seed bead and pass it through the next bead after the up seed bead. So the inner part is also almost closed or joined. Pick one seed bead and pass it through there. Next bead after the opposite bead to the one the fish line comes from. Okay, so the middle part is also being joined together, so I'm just securing it by tying it up, passing it through the passing the fishing line through the holes in the design, making a loop and pulling out the fishing line to tie it up. After tying up, I'm just passing it through the beat. I just like doing that because I feel it's more safe. Okay, so I'm cutting off the S's. And here we have our heart shaped design. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. Bye.